Janet from North Carolina, and I have uh, done the RTR previously last year, but I have not yet filmed a great show my van video, and everybody at the RTR this year was saying, get one posted. So, this is my posting of my little short van tour. Um, different sections, I plan to go more in detail in the future, but this will just kind of give you an overview. I still have a home base in North Carolina, coastal North Carolina, and uh, last year I was out for about four months at a stretch and was very comfortable the whole time, me and my little dog traveling. I This is my 2013 Ford Transit Connect XLT, so it's the long base, if you can believe it. And um, I got last year about 30 to 32 miles a gallon coming out. This year, I have a new addition, and I think it affected my gas mileage. I hadn't checked it officially, but I hit big winds, and I think the new addition affected it. So, come on, we'll take a quick look. Okay, first of all, my new addition, that I spoke to you about, is the e-bike. And I was the lucky winner of last year's um, drawing, and I put in like 25 bucks at RTR and never thought I'd be the winner but here it is and I totally love it did have to replace the seat because I have a bigger seat than what came with it and uh, put my little rolling dog bag up front and a little tool baggy thing on the back and we're set to go totally do love it but it created a little more wind drag than my last one so let's come on up to the front, take a quick look around. Being it's small, there's not a tremendous amount to show you. I did put the wind visor, window visors, which I recommend to everybody. They allow you to keep your windows open when it's raining a little bit. I don't like things to be out of place and have to dig for them. So I've got things kind of organized and everything has a place to live. This is my front seat and my kitchen area. And as you can see, here on the door, I keep the hand sanitizer, scissors, the things that I need to grab constantly, uh, some giveaway things from the fast food restaurants, and a fly swatter, and hand sanitizer and extra doggy bags. Then here in front, I have um, a little bag that I've sewn here for my little dog so he can get water whenever he wants and we're driving down the road. This is my little um, coffee maker. It's got a burner on top and an oven, and it does work, even though it looks like a Susie Homemaker's little toy oven, it works. Next to it, I have a single toast toaster and a waffle iron. And then this is my water pump that runs to a large bottle underneath. I'll show you when we get to the other side. And this little bowl is actually my sink basin. Everything is put down with heavy-duty magnets so that I can move things around. Let me switch over here. And wherever I put them, they're not going to be sliding and moving around. So that's one of the little tricks up overhead. Um, I had, I think it's about a five-inch wide metal shelf created that slides over the back here and turns up in front. This gives me a place to put magnets and other things and it still allows me to be able to crawl into the back. If I brought my shelf way out here like a lot of transit owners, it's too hard for me to get into the back. Okay. So now coming in, I think everybody has a junk drawer. This basket's basically my junk drawer. It's for all the things that I quickly need. This is a fold up little table that goes up, folds up like that. And this is my newest refrigerator, which I am totally loving. I'll pull it out so you can see the little brand. It's really for like a armrest in a truck, but it has a rechargeable phone pad and it does talk to your phone. You can control the temperature and everything by phone. It's about this section is the depth so even though it's not but about as wide as your hand it's a very deep refrigerator and it does what i need it to do plus it draws very little power and stays very cold usually i run it on freezer mode and then when i need to turn it off i don't have to worry about it keeping things cool 
And then at night, I just put this little um, motion sensitive light. And when I get up to go potty, that flips on for me. You see my shelf from this side. I put books up there, but they're not really books. They're the fake books where you can put things in. And then I was able to organize things that I need to get to quickly in there. Behind that, I have a lot of things like games and kites and things for fun time that I don't get to every day. Here in the bottom, one of the biggest changes I made from, this is probably the fourth or fifth build, is that I added these little metal file cabinets. There's two in each little box and there's five of these boxes going back to the back. And these store everything. Um, I can put my clothes in, CDs, whatever I need there. This is my little bed. It's currently and most of the time in a single mode, but it can be flipped over to a double. And I'm just trying out the idea of the roll down blinds that I made with the Dollar Tree cheap reflective and then coated them with, with uh, fabric on the back and I put them up with a big magnet that's run inside a casing there. I made these little roll down blinds. They're not very insulated. If I do like not having to put them under my bed, which is what I used to do with my window coverings. My son built this wonderful cabinet for me. I did not want to lose floor space because I put my little dog's potty pads down at night and I need to get up and go to my bathroom at night. So I didn't want to lose floor space. So he only built it right even with the wheel well. And then all this wall up here, you wouldn't think had a lot of storage space, but it does. And it's open at the top, which allows me to hang things over off hooks, which is also a nice extra bonus. Then when I need a desk area or a place to put my laptop to watch TV, I can fold this right down. And I have a tremendous amount of storage in here. I do use the little storage bags for the clothes. This is mainly my long pants and heavier jackets and sweaters and things because I usually keep tank tops and smaller items down in the drawers. And I've also got this insulated. So this gives me a lot of insulation back in this back section when it's really cold. I tend to sleep with my head down this way, but I can also sleep with my head down this other direction. And then that be this becomes my little table at night. Okay. And the bed, when I do need a double, folds over and it interlocks and it rests right here on this little bracket that my son put in for me. And then this is just a Dollar Tree drying rack that gives me a place to hang my towel after I come back from the gym. Okay, let's take a look down around back. Here we are back at the back again. And as you remember, here's the bike that I won. This was this year's new challenge. I had been running with my storage rack and a swing away hitch that I totally loved and did not want to lose. And then when I got the bike, I needed a way to carry the bike, of course. So me and my husband, not my husband, me and my son had kind of a discussion a long discussion if you know what I mean ladies trying to convince your sons what you need and I told him I didn't want to lose my rack but needed the bike so he has over the years taken like three different racks and between me wanting the swing away and a cargo rack and now the bike rack he's married about three different racks together and Frankenstein them together into what's working really well for me one of the things I was worried about my bike rack was getting one that I could actually lift the bike up on. And the way he did this, when, when I used the swing away hitch and swing it to the side, this front tire is on the ground, which makes it so much easier for me to just lift up the back tire, take it off. Now, I did lose my big cargo box, but he convinced me to get these uh, cases from Harbor Freight. And they have a roller, so no matter how heavy it is, I can deal with them. And in each of these cases, I have put my kitchen stuff. I have my little butane, of course, and a pop-up sinks. This one is mainly um, the containers, or say, up in the cooking things, like the little 
pots and pans and you know the rest. And the other side over here, is set up for my food items. And I went to Dollar Tree and got these little colorful lunch bags and they were really nice to divide things up like the packages of tuna and chicken and you get a ton in here and the different things that I might need when I was traveling and of course some leftover things, knives and other things go in the top. And then we can come over to this side and you can see the back of my bed and the back of my kitchen. Now, I hate things falling out on me. So I have a little fold up table that fits back behind here and I cut out the little spots here so that the legs of the table fit there. And I have a net to keep things from falling out. I've got a good bit of storage right here. Back behind here is a long box that runs the length of the van and that's for my poles and walking sticks and all those longer things that don't fit in the little teeny drawers under my bed. And this can be lifted up and flipped over and form a double bed. I think it was a great design that my son came up with. I love the fact that this little van has both doors that can open. Even when it's very hot, you can lay back in here and get a good breeze. And I do have some screens that fit over the doors. And last of all, here's my little kitchen. Everything in the build, I wanted it so I didn't have to take out screwdrivers and wrenches and put things together and, and take them apart every time I need them. Nothing in here is nailed down, not even the wall. It's put in with some spring latches. And if I need to empty the van, everything can be taken out within a short period of time. Everything is slotted together. This little, I did not want to lose my seat because there's times I want to have my passenger seat. This is slotted together. I keep two power stations under here. Um, I think they're 550 rock pals and then shoes go under here he put a new inverter this is new this year and a power that goes to my engine power switch so I have an inverter up here and a power switch that I can plug in when I need to use these things because they do pull uh, the little waffle thing and toaster and the oven thing coffee maker work great but they pull a lot of power and then everybody of course has to have these little clip on fans they provide us with light and really good mobile air and I don't like anything sliding around so I keep almost everything in some kind of basket so that's pretty well a quick little overview um, the other thing that a lot of people ask about at RTR were my lights I have four of these solar garage lights. They're really great in that you can tilt both the light and the um, areas here. They're motion sensitive and they light up as soon as you come out and they light a whole area. have these on all four sides of my van. For the front and the back, I have them mounted on magnets so I can move them around. But two sides are mounted up there on the rack. And this is my van tour. I hope you like it. Uh, if you did, I'm just doing this channel, getting started. I don't do editing yet, so what you're seeing is what you're getting. And hope you stop by. It's Van It, Janet, on YouTube channel. And um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like the van, give me a thumbs up. Leave comments, please. I'm open to suggestions, and if you have questions, I'll try to answer them for you. Bye now, Van It, Janet. Oh, and I didn't tell you, my little dog's name is Okie Dokie, and he's traveled with me twice now out here to the West Coast, and the van I have named Palit, P-A-L-I-T, because it is my little paint palette. I'm an art teacher that's retired, and it's been my little palette for creativity for quite a while. So join me at Okie Dokie at Vanit Janet. Thanks for stopping by.